hey guys welcome back to another video long time no post i'm sorry for going away without any notice or telling you guys my whereabouts but i'm back okay i'm fully back if you are coming across this channel for the first time you're welcome my name is chidera please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video share the video and leave your comment for me okay always leave your comment for me and to all my new subscribers thank you so much guys for subscribing you are welcome to this beautiful family to my ogs thank you guys for always and always coming back so guys today we are making banga stew okay this is the banga that you will use to eat your rice this is not for swallow this is banga stew so without wasting much time guys let's get started so guys to make your banga stew here are the ingredients that you'll be needing and here is my crayfish my scotch bonnet pepper i'm using both the yellow and the red scotch bonnet pepper and here is my beef i've already cooked and smoked this beef this cow leg and here is my palm fruit okay I'll be washing this and then I will cook it and extract the oil myself. That's the banga extract. I'm going to show you guys the process. So here is my scent leaf. Of course, you need scent leaf for your banga stew. You don't need any other leaf except scent leaf for your banga stew. And here is my stockfish. I'm going to be washing this with hot water. And here is my ube. So you need this for your banga too. This is what the ube looks like. It's just like ube, but this one is stronger and is black in color. So when you go to the market, just tell them to give you ube. And here my no, I'm using the ordinary no cube. So now we are going to start to cook our banga. And here is my banga. I've already put it on fire. I've already started cooking it. Okay. So now I'm just going to cover and I will allow this banga to cook. When you know that your banga is ready, is when you try to like touch it and it's soft. Then you know that your banga is cooked. So now I'm just going to cover this pot and I will allow this palm fruit to cook. So guys, our palm fruit is cooked now. Men looking at it, you can see that it's already looking very, very soft, okay? So I'm just going to take it down and then I'll start processing it. I'm going to be using my mortar and my pencil to process this. So here it is. I'm already pounding it. So I'm going to pound onto the flesh comes out from the nuts okay so you can also use your food processor to do this because there was no light so that's why i'm pounding it normally i use my food processor to extract the banga extract okay so after doing this i'm going to be sieving it out with hot water i'll just add in hot water in it and then i will extract it i will separate the banga from the chaff so here yeah, it is it is ready to be extracted i'll just pour in hot water in it and, or warm water and then i will extract it so here is our banga extract so i'm going to cook this now until the until the oil starts to come out okay when it starts to thicken that's when you know that your banga is almost getting ready you are going to see it as we go so our banga is already boiling i will be adding in my stock fish to cook with it okay because it's almost the same time they take it's almost the same time to cook 
okay so i'm just going to add in this stock fish so this is the only thing i'll be adding for now just my stock fish i wash this stock fish with hot water i soaked it inside hot water and i washed it to remove all the ants in it so i'm just going to add everything and then i will cover the pot and i will allow this to cook So guys, I'll be checking on my banger now. As you can see, the oil have already started coming out and it's already started to get thickened, okay? So now, I'm just going to add in my beef. Because the cow leg is still strong, so I'm going to add it at this point now so that you can cook with it. Then I'll be going in with my pepper, my grated pepper. And I'll also be adding in my obey now. So I just uh, use my spoon to pieces this obey. So I'm just going to add it in now. This is going to give a very sweet taste to your banga. And then I will add in my seasoning cube. I will add in salt now because the seasoning cube I added is not enough so I will adding a little bit of salt and then i'm going to stir this i'm going to cover it now and i will allow this to keep cooking so guys if you have watched up to now and you have not liked this video please like the video okay if you have watched up to now it means you are enjoying this video please like and subscribe if you have not subscribed so i added in my crayfish sorry i did not show the part i added my crayfish so now i'm going to be adding in my scent leaf our banga is almost ready so i'll just add in my scent leaf now and i'm going to cover and let it cook for a few more minutes okay and then our banka is ready And guys, our banga stew is ready. This is not banga for swallow. This is banga for white rice. Okay, you're going to enjoy it. Try it out and enjoy it with your white rice. Please guys, if you have not liked, shared and subscribed to the channel, please like this video. Leave your comment, okay? I love to read your comment, okay? Leave your comment for me and also like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until I come here when it's time. Bye.